Welcome back. All right, Minnesotans love their ice hockey, but this weekend, another fast-paced competition on skates is taking over uh, Roy Wilkins Auditorium. The regular season is over for the Minnesota Roller Derby, and it's on to the playoffs. The home team semifinals are coming up. It's happening Saturday night. And joining us from the Minnesota Roller Derby, Valkyrie, thanks for being here. Good morning. It's good to see you again, because when the season started, I came out to Roy Wilkins, and we did a story get, yes. promoting it, and here we are. Yeah. It's yeah. been a good season. It's been a great season. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a new dynamic with all the new skaters. It's been a new dynamic with all the, the shuffle of the, the teams, which has been really exciting. I mean, none of us, I've been doing this for about seven years, and I find it, you know, I'm still getting into the mix of trying to predict what the, the plays the different teams are going to have. And, Tell us about uh, the shuffle. What is this? So um, we decided to, to remix the teams after COVID. Um, you know, we wanted to make something that was going to be new and exciting. And I know some fans are a little sad that our old teams kind of went away, but um, you know, a lot of the same players are still there. There's still a lot of the same um, big hits and big action that you'll see. Um, but the, like I said, the thing that's different is going to be the dynamic. It, it has been the dynamic um, between the skaters. You know, normally we're used to these consistent home teams with consistent players. Um, right. And it gets predictable even for us. Um, so this really shuffled it up and makes it both exciting for us and for the fans. So there's a lot of... And a lot of new talent has joined the league, so that's been really great. And we'll get to how people can be a part of this, too, yes, coming up in a absolutely. little bit. But first, I want to ask, for people who maybe aren't familiar with how it works, just like the basics of the rules and what's happening when you go to yeah, watch. Yeah, absolutely. So there's five players from each team on the track at once, um, and each play is called a jam. It lasts up to two minutes, and one of those players is called a jammer. And the jammer's job is to get um, past the four opposing blockers on the other team. And for every blocker that they pass, they get one point, and it's the blocker's job to essentially destroy them. <laughs> uh, the, the jammer that gets by uh, the opposing blockers first can call off that jam early by tapping on their hips, um, okay. and there's strategic reasons for doing that, but um, for the most part, that's, that's basically the game is is the jammers trying to get by the blockers and the blockers are trying to destroy their life. So. Uh, all right. And so yeah. that, uh, that in lies, you know, the hitting aspect of this. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, there, th I'm assuming there are legal and illegal ways to hit. Oh, absolutely, yep. You, you learn a lot about that, but you mm -hmm. also have to have a lot of strength. I'm assuming you guys do strength training and, uh, and stuff in between. It's, they're called... Bouts. 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 So they're yep. called bouts. Yep. Um, you do, like, walk us through that. Like, you have to, like have some muscle yeah, yeah. so we practice um, about two hours uh, for our, our practices and they take place three times a week um, and then a lot of us do strength training at the gym or wherever else we might do it outside of that so and you have full-time jobs and we have full-time jobs <laughs> I am I am an engineer in real life so oh, really? yes That's awesome. so, yeah so you are busy I'm very busy <laughs> but you love this I do absolutely what you, do you love most about it oh man um, I don't think I can just pick one thing, but the the <laughs> Throw a couple out there. just yeah the community is is amazing. I mean there's there's a bond that you really form when you hit your friends <laughs> as hard as you can, <laughs> and then you can laugh about it later or go get sure. beers about it later. Um, the physicality of it, I mean there's no no sport like it, especially if you're um, if, if for, as far as women's sports or or sports that people who are are non-binary, gender fluid. Um, transgender can join. There is no other physical sport that I know like it. Um, you know, on ice hockey, women's ice hockey, you can't check. Um, we wear less pads than ice hockey does, and we can hit full force as long as we do it legally. Oh, yeah. So. It's intense. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm being a part of this. A lot of action. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we mentioned it off the top. Semifinals are coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Brief us. What can we expect? Um, a, lot of, a lot of competition. Um, it's going to be ramped up, I bet. Um, so like I had mentioned um, before we went on air, last bout was probably one of the most physical bouts I've ever been in. You know, I, I play on travel team. I go all over for this as well. And so those are usually the, the really competitive ones, the really physical bouts. And, and this bout between our home teams and the last one was probably the most, one of the most physical bouts, um, which is I, I love. And I know the fans <laughs> love the hits and, and the How action. How are you feeling this morning? That's, yeah, that was I'm, my I'm first great. question. Are you okay? I'm great. I, I can take a bigger hit than even I can give, so I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, 
but so I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the competition of that coming up here in the, the semifinals and the finals. So it's, it should be a lot of fun. There should be a ton of action. It should be exciting for the fans, whether you are a longtime fan or just want to try something new for the weekend and see something new. Um, whether you know the rules really well, whether you don't know anything at all about roller derby, it's, it's still going to be um, exciting and amazingly fun to watch. Feels like one of the sports, like when you leave, you know everything. Like, yeah. sit through a little bit, you're like, oh, I got it. Yep. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's it's pretty pretty easy to pick up on at least the basics and how it works, even sure. just by watching it without anybody explaining it to you. Um, and even if you were to not pick up on the basics, you'll still want to come back. Still fun. Yeah. If this sounds like a cup of tea for somebody out there, how do how does someone get involved? Like, how do you get started in this? Sure. So we have a website, uh, mnrollerderby.com, and there is within the menu you can go to um, our training league, the Wind Chill. And so there are sign-up instructions there. And so that's a recreation league for people that mm. some people just want to um, be in one of the various levels and skate recreationally, learn derby recreationally, and kind of stay in that, that wind chill space. Um, but it's also our training league that you can float up to be drafted into to one of our home teams or even eventually into our travel teams. Um, there's also our uh, Minnesota Frostbite. So for those that are under 18, um, they can learn roller derby. So. I love the names, by the way. Yeah, the Wind chill, the frostbite. Yep. Yep. Getting the point yeah. across. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, Valkyrie, as always, appreciate it. Yes, having thank you, you on very here. much. Yeah. Good luck this weekend. Thank yeah. you. All right, the Minnesota Roller Derby semifinals are coming up on Saturday, like we mentioned, at 7 o'clock at Roy Wilkins Auditorium. For tickets, you can visit mnrollerderby.com.